This is a quick video on how to upgrade the software on a Cisco Catalyst 9300 switch. I'm going to start by running a quick show ver command. And you can see I have a 48 port 9300 running this 16.8 1A image. This is the software that came loaded on the switch out of the box. And rather than putting it straight into production, I prefer to change it to one of the starred images off of Cisco's download page. And I try to stick with the images marked as MD for maintenance deployment as opposed to ED for early deployment. Since based on my understanding of how Cisco does these releases, the maintenance deployments will include bug fixes for existing features, whereas the early deployments will include bug fixes as well as new features. So unless you actually require one of the new features in an early deployment, it's probably better to just stick with maintenance deployment. The easiest way I found to get the new software onto the switch is to copy it to a thumb drive and then connect it to the USB port on the front of the switch. And just to confirm that the USB drive is detected, you can run dir USB flash zero. And you can see the image here that I want to install. First I'll copy it off of the USB drive and onto the flash of the switch. To do that I'll just run copy USB flash zero, name of the file, flash, and then hit enter. And I'll go ahead and use that as the destination file name. It does take a couple minutes since the iOS images are several hundred megabytes in size now, so I'll go ahead and fast forward through this. Alright, so it looks like the software is finished copying. Just to confirm that it's in the flash on the switch, I'll run dir flash. And I can see that the image is on here now. Now this is where the commands are a lot different than they were with older switches on previous versions of software. To install this new software in bundle mode, we have to run request platform software package install switch I only have one switch so I'll just put one if you have a stack just do all and then file the directory of the file which is flash colon and then the name of the file at this point I can just go ahead and hit enter if you're using a stack here though you want to use autocopy and what this does is it will copy the software to all of the member switches in the stack. But again, I just have one switch here, so I'll just go ahead and hit enter. And at this point, it just kind of goes on autopilot and installs the software, so I'll go ahead and fast forward through this. The new software finished installing, and it says that it will load on the next reboot, so I'm going to go ahead and reload now. And since reloads take a couple minutes, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this as well. Alright, so the switch is finished booting up here. I'm going to run another quick show ver. And we can see that it's on the new 1664A image that we just loaded. One last thing I like to do is to clean up the old software so that it's not taking up space on the switch. If I run dir flash, You can see that several files from this old 16.8.1 image are still on the switch and taking up space. The command to clean these up used to just be software clean, but now you have to run request platform software package clean. And this basically does the same thing that the old software clean did. It just cleans up the unnecessary files that are taking up space in the flash. And the switch gives us a similar output as the older models that tells us it will delete the files from the old software, but it won't delete the files from the new software. I'm going to go ahead and just say yes here. And the switch goes ahead and deletes all the unnecessary files from the old software. And at this point the upgrade is done. So that's it for this video. I just thought I would share this information out since Cisco kind of threw everyone a curveball with the commands required to run a software upgrade on the Catalyst 9300s. So hopefully this saves you a little bit of time. Anyhow, hit the like button if this was helpful, and thanks for watching.